My foot, my hope. Oh, my sorry, is all my strong, is all my hopes. I would like to. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Fola and this is Unsustainable with Fola. So first off, I'm going to start off by wishing everybody a happy new month. Happy new month, guys. Welcome to the month of April. This is the beginning of the second quarter, right? Second quarter of the year. And I wish everybody a wonderful amazing and thanks thankful um <laughs> second quarter april is going to be filled with so much blessings and good news for each and every one of us by god's grace amen also quickly let me plug my business i've been advertising my business since but it's like if people, if people are just ignoring it if people just fast forward that part please 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 you guys should patronize me and tell a friend or tell a family to patronize me as well i sell fabrics and cara and also men's fabrics please they are all very very affordable and of good quality simply visit at byfab.ng on instagram for more information on that so you guys know when adekunle good sang love is not enough baby hey come to me for the purpose of this video we're going to be focusing on the first line love is not enough do you think love is enough to sustain a relationship do you think love is enough to ensure a relationship is successful? Question mark. Please drop answers for me in the comments. For me, at the point, yes, I believed love was enough because my mindset was that love encompasses a lot of things. Just like it says in the Bible, in Corinthians. Corinthians. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> love is patient. Love is kind. Love is forgiving. Love does not envy. It is not boastful. It doesn't have pride. Everything he said, I think I'll look for it and put it on the screen. But everybody should know this verse. So that was what, that was a mindset I was working with before. And that was what I believed. If you say you actually truly love somebody, then love is enough to sustain the relationship. But over time, guys, I've come to understand that it doesn't work like that. That's how it works. <laughs> it's very, very, very much far from that. Love is not enough for mainly and i think a main reason is because because you have true pure biblical love for somebody doesn't mean they have it for you in return that's like a main reason but aside from that there are also a lot of other factors that should be considered for before you can before you can have a successful relationship with the person you love anyways that's not the topic for today let me not enter another another discussion today i'm here to try and analyze and discuss how to know when to work out of a relationship and how to know when the love you have for somebody is not enough for that relationship to work now i don't have all the answers to this i do not know it myself it's something i'm also still trying to figure out how do you know when love is not enough for this relationship that i am in do you get but I was able to, you know, recount my previous experiences and also read up on it and come up with some few factors that you can still consider to help you understand if the love you have is enough for your relationship or if it is not enough. And to help you know when to leave a relationship. So guys, let's get into it. First, 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 first. first. The first point I would be making, how do you know when to leave a relationship? How do you know when love is not enough for your relationship? Number one, if you guys have different fundamental values, different beliefs, and different reasons for why you are in that relationship. Let me explain it. Now, somebody can love you, somebody's love can be patient, somebody's love can be kind, can, may not be boastful, may not be envious, but as individuals, both of you are totally different people. You have different beliefs, you have different values, you have different reasons for being in a relationship. Like I said in, earlier in the video, people are getting into relationships for different reasons nowadays. Now, for some people, they just get into a relationship because they don't want to be alone, because they want to have a partner. 
for some people is because they want to settle down they want to start a family and for my muslim brothers and sisters there's this thing that is called completing your deen part of completing your deen in islam is getting married you get i'm sure for christians too they should have something like that having a partner a helpmate or something like that it should be in the bible so people have different reasons why they are in a relationship and if you and the person you are dating the person you are in love with do not have the same reasons your reasons do not align then it is something you should consider sit down think of it and consider if you really want to go forward with that relationship because if you don't now go sit your be fast last last because if somebody is dating to get married and the other person is dating just because they don't want to be alone <laughs> that relationship is not moving not moving together it doesn't really have bearing i don't know if you guys understand i don't really want to waste too much time on explaining the point but having different beliefs different beliefs too yeah maybe my faith is different from your faith i'm not saying i'm a christian you're a muslim there are some people that share different religion religions but they have the same belief like there is a god you need to pray you need to do things this way you need to be good you need to learn how to forgive but there are some people that even have the same religion but their beliefs are totally different also having different values all these things are factors that should be considered in a relationship and these things do not have anything to do with love you guys need to understand that they have nothing to do with love so how do you know when you should leave a relationship if you and the person you are in love with have different values beliefs and you have different reasons for being in a relationship you should consider leaving that relationship, especially if nobody is willing to meet anybody halfway you get there are some people that have different values different beliefs but they've been able to find a way to bring them together and meet in the middle but for some people they have not and they will never be able to so if this is your situation you should consider what stepping out of that relationship because love is not going to fix that number two another one that i really find a very important factor to sustaining a relationship is conflict resolution conflict resolution has nothing to do with being in love with somebody honestly it has nothing to do with it if you and the person you are in love with cannot amicably resolve conflicts then what are you doing because no matter how much you love somebody now go see fights you guys are going to have big problems you're going to have big issues you are going to have serious in fact and if you both do not know how to sit down and resolve conflicts amicably the relationship will still end in tears yeah you're gonna give each other breakfast because it will get to a point that you people will fight and everybody will just go it might be when you're still dating it might even be when you are married that's why you see some couples having fights about stupid things like when they tell you the reason why we are not together again is because it presses toothpaste from the middle and you'll be like how is that a problem so knowing how to resolve conflict amicably is another factor you should consider in your relationship love is not going to help you resolve it having good conflict conflict resolution skills will help you solve this sadly um hoping that your partner would change some bad attitude or some of their ways or some things that they do that you don't find very very pleasing because they love you say no no so you have a partner that for instance now smokes or drinks or flirts or likes to keep women and this is not something that you like you don't like it you don't like to do it but because you love them you are ignoring it you're closing your eyes you know they say love is blind so you are closing your eyes you're not looking at it because you believe with time their love for you will make them change it now nah, my brother my sister it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that if people how do i explain this people don't change because of love people change because they want to change if anybody if you are with somebody now and you feel that your love for them has changed them 
trust me, it's only going to be temporary because what happens when they are not so in love with you? They go back to doing what they were doing. You guys get me? Because your partner is not going to, going to be in love with you all the time. You are not going to be loving, 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 loving. They're not going to see you and be adoring you every single day. So if they are changing because just because they love you, that change is not permanent. So do not stay in a relationship hoping that your partner will change just because of love. If there are some things that are happening, if there are some things that they are doing that you don't find, you don't find it pleasing, that you know you cannot put up with in the long run, you shouldn't ignore that and stay in the relationship just because you love them. You guys get me? You get me? Another thing, I think this is number four. How do you know when you're meant to leave a relationship? If you can't confidently express yourself to your partner or to the person that you love, you can't, you're always scared to say things. You're scared to ask for more. You're scared to say things that you would like them to do for you. You are scared to, because you don't want to offend them. You don't want to, you don't want to seem, you don't want it to seem like you're asking for too much. If you are feeling that way, what out of that relationship? Because it's not just about you guys loving yourself. Love is not going to cover that one either. If you love somebody and if you want your relationship to work, you both have to be able to comfortably ask for things. I'm not going to get our money. Women, I'm not, say, I'm not even saying money or gifts. I'm saying other things. You need to be comfortable enough to sit your partner down and say, I don't like this thing that you're doing. Or... I want you to start doing this. This is how I want you to love me. This is how I like to be loved. This is how I like to be treated. If you cannot confidently do that, then it's time to work out. How do you know love is not enough in that relationship? Like your love alone cannot sustain the relationship. When you start feeling obligated to be in that relationship like the only reason you are in that relationship is because you feel obliged to be there for instance now maybe you guys have dated for a very long time maybe you've introduced your partner to your family your friends and you feel like if you go back and start telling them that you and this person are not together again or if you end the relationship you can't really handle the backlash so you decide to just remain in that relationship as wrong that is very very wrong a lot of people do this men do it women do it but i think men do it a lot more i raised this conversation on my whatsapp a while back men don't break up with ladies like this is another topic i'm going to discuss but let me just say it i don't believe men break up with women i feel like they just leave you in the relationship and go and this is very very bad because it is even more deceitful than coming out playing to tell the person i'm no longer interested most men just like to they will just keep stringing you along and they will start frustrating you frustrating you frustrating you until you get tired or you go yourself but some people do not get tired and go some people are married some people they have a very very high persistence level like they will die there if you do not outrightly tell them to leave they're not gonna go you know, like those visitors that will come and then they will stay and don't want to leave again. That's how some people are in relationships. <laughs> so it is very, very, very bad to remain in a relationship simply because you feel obliged to. For whatever reasons it might be, for whatever reason you might have to not want to end the relationship. It is even 10 times much worse to stay in that relationship knowing that you are no longer interested. So if at any point you feel like, oh, this relationship, I just did the honestly, like, it's more of an obligation, you know, like, I just want to do it. I don't know if you come out. Leave the relationship. You're not going to die. The person is not, not going to die. Heartbreak, no, they keep a person. That's just the truth. <laughs> Very fast, no, they keep a person. So, that's it. The last one I'm going to be discussing in this video is if your partner is abusive either verbally physically or emotionally if you have an abusive partner please 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 
walk out of that relationship. You can love somebody and they can also love you back. But some people still have their human side. Let me make you guys understand that everybody is capable of love. Even the devil is capable of loving somebody. You should know that. But that does not take away the fact that they are a devil. So if you, if you have an abusive partner, honestly, no matter how much you love them, no matter how much they love you, you should leave the relationship. That's a very, very important factor to consider. So that is the last but not the least. It's like, in fact, it should be number one. If you're in an abusive relationship, work out. If you're also in a relationship with somebody that is very, very self-centered, that only thinks about themselves, only focused on what they want, and someone that's only always only projecting their own plans on you. They're not considering your plans. They're not thinking of what you want to do, you know. You guys are not meeting yourself in the middle, like I said earlier. That's another factor you should consider, you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope with these few points of mine, I've been able to shed light on why I now believe love is not enough to sustain a relationship. There are, there are like tons of other factors, tons of other reasons why love is not enough. But I don't know everything. All the ones I just stated are based on what I've experienced and what I have read about so as usual thank you for watching um please 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 endeavor to share this video with somebody you think might need it somebody you think might need to watch this you know if you have other factors or other reasons or other ways you think people can know when to leave a relationship or people can understand that the love they have is not enough to sustain the relationship please leave it in the comment section so that i can learn from it and other people can learn from it as well thank you guys for watching thank you guys for you know staying with me <laughs> please 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 not forget to subscribe please 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 i'll be marking one year youtube anniversary soon and i really want to have at least at least a very reasonable number of subscribers to show that um i have grown and you know my efforts are not in vain so please guys do not forget to subscribe thank you so much this is Bola.